What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This is what I'm going to show you how to create in today's video. Believe it or not, it's super easy to do and you do have the option of masking out the areas that you don't want to uh, have affected. I want to give a special thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring today's video. Also, don't forget to check them out on YouTube where they provide their own comprehensive Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials covering a variety of topics. You can visit their YouTube playlist, which I will link down below. So we go over to the effects and you go down to the effects here, you're going to find it here. It is M1 compatible, which is awesome. And if you go over to the titles, you also have a title version down below here. Same thing, it just acts as a title. So if you click and drag, you will have the option of using the same exact plugin. And then you can also use the effects if you want it to apply it to the entire clip, along with the coupon code KingPixelPro at checkout. So if you guys use that code, you guys get a special discount. Also, guys, I do want to let you know that this is also an update to the uh, Final Cut Pro 10 auto tracker outline. So if you guys had the uh, tracker outline plugin previously, then this is a free update and it's already in your account. So you can just go and check it out. So this is the original video that I want to show you how to use. So if I push play, it's just a uh, drone shot over this vehicle in like the desert or something with trees and so on. And then what I want to do is I also want to mask out the road that the car is on. So what I'm going to do is drag the playhead at the beginning and I'm going to go over to the effects and I'm going to add the effects preset directly onto that video clip. You have the instructions, so you have a step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the Shape Tracker plugin. And it's pretty straightforward too, you know, uh, you can kind of read through that and go to the next page. I'm gonna close the window. You also have here track controls and style controls. So the style controls, once you, uh, you know, actually mask out the area, gives you uh, controls to change like the shape, color, feathering, outline color, and so on. I'm gonna show you first how to use it. So I'm gonna go over to launch editor. And we're gonna be doing this first because we want to pretty much hide what we do not want affected in this video. So, or for this effect. So I'm gonna make this bigger here. You have like your zoom in and out uh, little window. You have one for the timeline here. You have one with the, kind of hand which allows you to click and drag to pan around the video. This button here will allow you to reset the camera so it resets everything in case you messed it up. Um, here again same thing you can click and drag uh, without having to switch between these kind of controls and you can do the same thing with this here just to make it pretty quick. Here on the right side of this you have tracking controls, toolbar, the layer management and then the other options for the layers. So how this works is pretty much go to where you want to begin your track. Here's where I want to hide this road. So I'm gonna go over to the layer management. So since we have one already, it's gonna be called layer zero. And then you also have a couple of options. This button allows you to add an empty shape to the selected layer, which is gonna be this one. So if I click on this button, it will add another shape. And if you click this button, it will add a new layer. So I'm gonna just delete those. If you wanna change the layer name, just go to layer info, mouse over the box here, and it will highlight it so you can change the text. So I'm gonna name this and make sure you press enter to change the name. And then for shape zero, to change the name of that, just go down to shapes and then hover over that and then just change that as well. So I'm gonna do mask. Okay, so once you've named your shape uh, here or your shape layer, here you have color. So this allows you to change the uh, color once you create your mask. So I'm gonna first go over here under toolbar and this allows you to make a custom shape. Here you have a rectangular mask shape. So if you click and drag, this will just do that. You also have the ellipse tool or the oval tool, which allows you to create a round shape. So I'm gonna go with the custom one and I'm gonna do is go to the beginning. I'm gonna click once, maybe twice, click and drag to make it a curve. I'm gonna go outside of the frame. I'm gonna click and drag again. I'm gonna do it about here. And then to move the points, you're gonna have to click on this button here. And then if you hover over the points, you can then click and drag to move those. If you wanna make a selection of a group, just click on this one and you can select multiple points at once, as you can see. And I wanna make sure that under these tools, it'll actually analyze your scene so you can track it. So we're gonna hit this button. That means it's ready to be tracked. This allows you to render the layer and then the contents and then this allows you to lock the layer if you don't want to move it around or delete it accidentally and then this is where you can actually delete the layer and anything inside of that layer so uh, once we have that we're going to hit the track forward button and we're just going to track it to a little bit once it, this point reaches there i'm going to hit stop now the reason i hit stop is because we need to move these points above as well now i want to move these back up here so what i'm going to do add a keyframe go down to the shapes and then next to the mask or this here, you're gonna see a little plus button, add that so that way we can track when we go forward, we can now adjust the curvature of this. So like about here, we're just gonna click and drag and move those back up like that. And then do the same thing like this. Kind of skip a couple of frames. So about here, maybe we're gonna zoom out here. I'm gonna click this point. 
and just drag it out like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. From this point, I'm gonna skip a couple of frames, go about there, and then I'm gonna move this back like that. So now if I go back and push play, make sure these points are always out of the video frame because that's gonna not show a gap once we mask it out. So if you wanna see it, just click render solid and you can also invert the mask if you wanna affect the opposite of what you just selected which is kind of nice. So right now I'm gonna have that unchecked though for this tutorial. Render solid allows you to show and render a solid here so you can see so we can like go with a different color. Maybe I'm gonna go with like a kind of purplish blue. And once you're ready, hit export data and click confirm. Close the window. And then now if I go back and push play, you're gonna see it's tracked to the selection that we've done as well as the keyframes that we added, which is really cool. So once we're happy with this, we're gonna go down to the style controls. So click on show. And then here you have a bunch of other settings. So we have style controls. Underneath the style controls, you have rendering mode. So you can change that to mask which is what we're gonna do. So now we have the video and then what's in black is what's not being affected. Here we have mask plus outline. What I wanna do first is actually show you this. So we're gonna set this to mask and we're gonna hold option and click and drag downwards. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the bottom clip and we're gonna remove or delete the effect that we applied, so delete. So now you can see the bottom clip. This clip should have the mask so you can see what it looks like. So with the bottom clip selected, we're just gonna go over to the effects and then we're gonna go to the, uh, I think it's under Cosmic Looks. Personally, I went with the Cosmic Basics. So just click and drag that on the bottom clip. So now you're gonna notice that everything is being applied except the selection that we just made. So if we go over to the Cosmic Basic, you can adjust the smoothness, which I have done. So that's really cool. So now if we select the top one with the Shape Tracker plugin, we're gonna go down and then change the rendering mode. So you can change it from like mask to a mask with an outline. Now you can see that there's an outline on the mask that we created. If you click on this outline color, you can change the outline color to a different color. So you can do like yellow or green outline width and adjust that so it's not too thick and bring that down to like this maybe and then the outline opacity can control the opacity of it so now if we go back and push play it still looks something like this which is really really nice or what you can do is change it to say shape color fill so now it's gonna it's only gonna affect the mask so if we disable the video you're gonna see that we have the effects all on the bottom one you won't be able to see it unless you do the same track again I think this is fine but we can then go down and change the fill opacity so you can do something like this if you want to emphasize a road if you go over to the shape plus outline you can do the fill with the outline color which is kind of nice and then if you go with outline it'll just show the outline there so i'm going to go back to the mask say you want to have a color fill but have the car on top of it i'm going to delete the bottom clip and show you so this is the one that we were using right as our as our mask duplicate this clip so we're going to hold option and drag upwards the video on top we're going to delete the effect so press delete the clip underneath is the one with the mask okay so what you want to do guys is go over to the effects and you're gonna go over to the final cut pro 10 shape tracker so you're just gonna click and drag this onto one without the effects so we're just gonna go over to launch editor now you can also do this with the built-in draw mask in final cut pro 10 but then the tracking won't be precise and it won't really look good really so i prefer it this way it's so much easier what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over to the beginning here and I wanna track the vehicle. So I'm gonna get pretty close on this one. So this is where this kind of zoom uh, window comes in handy. So I'm gonna go over to the layer zero. I'm gonna click on shape zero, and then I'm gonna click this button to create a custom shape. Click and drag to bring out those curves. And I'm gonna get pretty precise with this. So we can kind of make it a little bit more precise because uh, the angles aren't really changing. We're gonna zoom out of the video and we're gonna skim through and you're gonna notice now that's not tracked. So we're gonna track it by going over to this button here, making sure that that is checked. And then we're gonna hit the track forward button. And you're gonna notice that it's tracking the position but not the rotation. So we go down to track options and change the motion type to, you know, there's, I mean, different types. You have translation only, translation with scale, transition plus rotation and so on. So I'm gonna go with the, probably with the rotation, it's not really changing scale, so that's fine. And then I'm gonna hit the track forward button. Now you're gonna notice it's starting to rotate it with it, which is really cool. And I'm gonna hit stop. And then we're gonna hit the export data, click confirm, close the window. And now you're gonna notice it did a very, very well on the tracking. So now we just gotta adjust the style controls. And then underneath the style controls, you're gonna go and change the rendering mode. You can do mask. And then I'm gonna change the bottom one to, uh, instead of mask, I'm gonna change this to shape color fill. So we can see kind of like the background with the color. We're gonna go over to the bottom clip here. Uh, we're gonna go over to the shape tracker. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go down to the style controls. So right now the rendering mode is set to shape color fill. So if you have like another one, just change it to shape plus outline. So we can see the outline like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and increase the outline width just a little bit so it's not too harsh. So something like that. And then we're gonna go over to the effects and we're gonna go down to the comic looks. And then in the comic looks, we're gonna go over to the comic basic. So click and drag that onto that clip there. And then I'm gonna increase the smoothness a little bit and then reduce the ink edges a bit and then kind of make it like that. Maybe not too much, something like that. And then I'm gonna go over to the color here and add a LUT to this. So I'm gonna just go over to custom LUT. So just click and drag that on the bottom clip again. And then within that same window, you're gonna go down to the custom LUT. Next to LUT, just import a LUT. These are all of mine. If you guys have any other LUTs that you wanna use, select them there and just import them through the choose custom LUT here. I've already done that, so I'm gonna go with the Seattle sky. So now it really creates that really pinkish look. You can also create this look in the color tab here under the color board. So go to the color board one. You can add a keyframe to that as well if you wanted to. But I'm going to go over to the exposure. I'm going to bring that up a little bit to make it a little bit brighter and then darken the shadows a bit. And then from there, I'm going to go over to the saturation. I'm going to boost up the highlights as well as the midtones or the, uh, the, yeah, the midtones and then the shadows too. So now when I go back and push play, it'll look like that. And then I also want to make it flicker a little bit. So uh, what we can do is instead of it just starting like that with the mask that we just created, if you guys go down to the under style controls, you'll have a bunch of keyframes here. Go over to the fill opacity, and this is going to be with the fill. Okay, it's not going to be the outline. So we're going to go with the fill opacity. We're going to start that at zero. We're going to move the playhead at the beginning, and we're going to add a keyframe next to fill opacity. Skip a couple of frames and then bring this back up to maybe not 100, but maybe like 65. So now when we go back and push play, you're going to see it kind of goes like this. Skip a couple of frames and then we're going to bring this down to zero. I'm going to bring this in a little bit closer to kind of give it that flicker kind of look. So now when I go back and push play, it's kind of flickering. Now it does look like this because we added the comic look on top of it. So this is without it. As you can see, it's kind of flickering, which is really, really cool. From there, I'm also going to do the same thing for the outline. So I'm going to go to the style controls again, go to the outline opacity, bring this to zero. And I'm actually going to kind of make this random. So I'm going to add a keyframe at zero and then go a couple of frames, bring this back to 100 or one, go like three frames to the right and then bring this down to zero. And then just do that for every other keyframe. So now when I push play, you're gonna see it's gonna flicker like crazy. I'm gonna turn off the uh, comic basic preset so you can see what it looks like. And I'm also gonna get rid of the LUT so you can really see what's happening. So this is with it flickering, as you can see, super cool. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.